Hello guys, hope you're well. Today we're going to be looking at a game called Snowtopia, which is a, a sort of a management simulation type game. So it's all about keeping the guests happy at the, a ski resort, essentially, and making some badass ski slopes um, that give the skiers a load of thrills and things like that as they're going down them. So uh, it's developed by a company called T for two who are indie developers and uh, the game is currently in early access so I've had a bit of a play around with it uh, off stream or off the recording and uh, yeah I'm just gonna uh, go through with you really just give you my thoughts on the game as we have a little play around so first of all just go on new game so when you go on the new game you can kind of pick what sort of map you want to go on it tells you the sort of the difficulty score of the slopes uh, so we'll just go for volcano heights why not so it's got a number of access points three music's just suddenly gone ridiculously loud <laughs> let me just change that let me just change that because that's going to be that's kind of deafening me don't know why it just suddenly went so loud Hopefully that's going to be a little bit better. I've not overdone it. Anyway, so Volcano Heights. We'll go for that one. So it gives you sort of the difficulty criteria on the side. So access to ski zones, one. Slope type diversity. Ground homogeneity. Homogeneity, yeah. <laughs> uh, building land proportion. Obstacle density. So, kind of just gives you some information about the maps. Probably say access to ski zones is quite an important one, and probably building land proportion. I don't really know uh, if I'm honest, but we'll just click on a random one. We'll go on volcano lights. That's the one I chose earlier. Um, so, yeah, essentially, what we're doing with this is just making a ski resort. Um, so, start starting out. Hi, what are you doing out there in the middle of nowhere? Are you lost? There's nothing but snow around here. What am I doing here? I like starting the day with a nice bracing walk in the icy air. Oh, so you want to build the ski resort of your dreams. In that case, you've come to the right place. To start with, take a trip around the mountain and study its relief. You can always hover your cursor over the entries in this list to get more information or open the game. Help indicated by the question mark. Okay, so... So I'm in the list here, so just kind of like just give you some tutorial things um, on how to open the game. So obviously just padding left and right, forward and backwards. You hold your middle mouse, mouse button to rotate and open the game help by pressing the question mark. So very good, well not uh, well not bad for a start. How dumb would you look if you didn't even know how to get about? Anyway, don't worry, I've been making a few calls and some folks are really excited about all this and want to help out. You could use a few more helping hands around here, right? So, um, let's get off the... No, I can't now. Builders Lodge. So a whole team has volunteered to help you out. Now they need to uh, set to work of materials and logistics. Once you have a functional builder's lodge, you can construct the rest of the ski area. Place the buildings beside the zone you wish to make your ski area. Builders will thus have to uh, have to a shorter distance. Okay, there's a bit of a typo in there. Um, <laughs> to reach the, the zone there are construction. So basically, they, yeah, make your buildings near where you're going to be doing your ski resort or your slopes or whatever. So open the construction menu we've got the construction menu down at the bottom here and we want to have a builder's lodge now this is literally the only area you can build on and your buildings pretty much just attach to the outer section of there i've not actually found out a way of uh, expanding this i don't know whether you can uh, but literally everything has to connect to this bit so all your slopes come down here and attach to it your buildings go on it and as you can see just you know the size of this one building and then if let's say I've got four different ski slopes you know you're going to be running out of time, um, space pretty quickly so I don't think this necessarily changes depending on different maps it's not something I've noticed now I find that a bit rubbish a bit 
not very good <laughs> if you don't know the English slang there. So uh, it just doesn't give you room to do much. Uh, that's my initial thoughts. But build a builder's lodge. So we've got a builder's lodge. You can kind of rotate where you want to put it. Don't really know what difference that makes. Um, unless you can actually put them in there. I don't think you can. Oh, you can put them in there. Oh, okay. Well, that makes things a little bit better. Um, so let's just destroy that one. Don't want that in the middle there. We can put perhaps some shops or something in the middle here. Um, okay, but that's good to know. I didn't um, necessarily discover that last time I played. So we got to assign some volunteers. So up here it says number of volunteers in the resort. Total six. On duty zero. Unassigned six. So we've got to assign some volunteers. Now this all seems a little bit strange to me because I'm used to playing games like Planet Zoo, Planet Coaster, um, Two Point Hospital, all that sort of stuff. And they all have um, like a financial system to them, some sort of economy. And uh, this doesn't seem to have it. So um, you just assign your staff like so. And then some stuff will go to it. Um, so yeah, it just seems a bit weird. There's no like economy as such, but I don't know whether that's something that will come in the future. Um, certainly would make the game a little bit more challenging if it did. Holy snowflakes! A ski resort in my own backyard. It's like a dream come true. Can I help you out? Please say I can. I can do absolutely anything. Where do I start? So he's a very eager volunteer here. Don't do your head in about it. A ski tow and slope are all I need to help keep me happy. If skiers don't show up, despite your best efforts, there must be a problem with the connection between the access point, the slope, and the ski lift, or the ski lift could be closed. Okay, so we've got to um, build a ski lift. So there's two types of starting ski lift. There's a one person fixed grip surface tow. Um, means nothing to me, it's just one person, isn't it? But it gives you some stats on there, so maximum length, um, maximum gradient so depending on I suppose the gradient of the hill how long you want it to be depends on which uh, chair lift you go for uh, there is a research aspect to the game where you, you will get different um, chair lifts that will go to different gradients different uh, lengths and all this other stuff we've got some statistics there energy heat and appeal practical and relaxing uh, so I'm assuming these are just stats that will uh, affect the skiers so I'm gonna put the ski lift just on there we're gonna go for, for this one I don't know what the gradient of these is there's probably a something that will tell me but there you go it says it's still it's too steep when you get so far you can zoom out it's usually scroll um, mouse wheel uh, we'll put it there so that's the ski lift that's going to go up to the top of the slope and then we'll just uh, put some actual uh, slopes down here for the skiers to use in a minute so uh, the little icon there is just saying it's under construction so the volunteers will start coming out soon and uh, start making those so uh, I think it'd be good if as I say these things cost money because at the minute you can kind of just do what you want. It's just kind of free reign. <laughs> um, so we're going to put some slopes down. So you've got a narrow slope, normal slope, or large slope. So these uh, all uh, come with different uh, uh, widths, basically. So, so there's a narrow slope, snake in among obstacles. So you can kind of go in and out of the trees with the, the narrow slopes. Probably makes it a little bit more of a challenging one. The large just says here comes Snow Boulevard. I think it just means it's just wide. And comfortable width is the normal one. So I'm going to go for a narrow one. We've got some slopes. Let's go down these uh, slopes. So you just connect it to the top there. Uh, go around these obstacles. And as you can see, it sort of changes colour. And that's sort of like the difficulty that they're going to be experiencing you know the thrill factor as you're going down so um i think green is easy blue is a little bit more difficult white is just ridiculously easy um red is a little bit more difficult and then there, there is black as well which is kind of like super extreme 
as you can see as you get down towards the bottom it gets a little bit easier so there's the first slope greet your first gears are we on pause not on pause it's just taking forever to do anything so we'll speed it up using the controls down the bottom there building is made but it is closed so I'm going to open the building up just by uh, <laughs> a thought just by clicking on it why is that not oh there we go so you have to click the bottom there to finish off so the builders all come and make that we just need to click on there open it up uh, which you can do by assigning some volunteers so we need some staff to run it like so so it's going to take a little while for the slope to be made I'll just fast forward okay so slopes been made we've just got to wait for some skiers to come here they all are just tootling along do, 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 do. how many of these are going to fall over probably loads i'd fall over if it was me so select a skier let's pick this one i don't believe it the first skiers have already come to your resort Look at them lining up for the ski lift. They make their way up and then whoosh! They zip straight back down. Ha ha! Some of them are really bad. Even I I can ski better than that. I can't. Never been skiing in my life. Anyway, I've got to go. I have a sudden hankering to hit the slopes. Okay. So, um, select a, an individual villager and it kind of gives you a uh, villager I'm going back to Age of Empires uh, skier and it gives you the stats for the skier so craving for a challenge go on save at the moment with a ski slope a ski lift and skis on your feet what could be what could possibly ruin your day well I'll tell you fear that's what and if I don't get my adrenaline pumping I get bored let's go skiing it could be so much fun everybody says is it too much to ask to have slopes adapted to our level at this stage of the game skiers are going to start looking for a challenge i.e slope suited to their ability but not too tricky either during construction pay attention to how steep your slopes are and try to make them as uniform as possible okay so as uniform as possible so mine was going through quite a few different uh, colors so it probably wants you to try and keep it to a particular color as you go through and then it kind of just helps with the difficulty levels I think so yeah so this gives you the individual stats of the person so this person likes uh, you know sort of 45% I think challenge so are these visitors skiing on slopes for their level 45% so does it give you the difficulty on here doesn't really target quality they can drop and increase the quality the target audience perceived difficulty is blue which I probably say is sort of like mid challenging level so it might be right for that person who's 45 I mean a lot of them seem to be looking at 45 it might just be the that's just because I don't know <laughs> Why are they all 45? Is that just because the slope itself is that? Anyway, so it's going to take a little while for them to come up. Uh, as you can see, there's a few on there already. I'm going to have a little look at the first people to go down. There we go, let's get rid of that. So, come on. You can uh, sort of view them, there's like a little camera option. I think when you click on the person and they're about to go down. There we go. Yeah, so if you click that little target, you, can, you sort of lock your view onto them. You can just follow them down, basically. See what happens. And as you can see, as they're going down, their needs are all changing. Um, there's the go. There we go. So we kind of got to meet everybody's needs. So his needs. Ah, so that's, yeah, so when they're starting, the, the needs are just 45% met. Now, if they've been around for a little while and they've been on different slopes and that's kind of dropping, it just shows that their difficulty is not being met, probably. So you can see with this one, skiing ability is blue. 
overall grade from that slope was generally blue so that's quite a good mix for him whereas this person sports club kids is, is their sort of group that they're in uh, he prefers or she prefers I'm not sure uh, the red slope so we do need a more difficult slope to satisfy that person's needs but they're generally quite comfortable with everything so display skier history there we go which is this little tab here so it just gives you information what they've been up to really uh, build a green slope so we need a green slope let's go for a normal sized uh, slope and let's try and make it fairly green where we can like so uh, a little bit of blue there Yeah, this is not going to be great because of uh, a few little bits, but it's kind of taken up a lot of my space there, which I didn't really want to do. But I'm going to expect that that's going to be a green slope. So let's quickly fast forward, wait for that to be built, and then we'll see what happens. So as you can see, it's quite straightforward, um, this game. I don't feel as though there's much depth to it. Hopefully that will come uh, in the future. As I say, it's still early access at the moment so hopefully that will come there we go that turned into a green one so that was good um hopefully some sort of financial economy or something will come in the future because it would be nice to be able to have some sort of challenge in terms of money to be able to keep making new slopes or getting the buildings you want or something along those lines at the minute everything's just you know just click it and place it there is a, as i say there is a research aspect to the game I'm uh, not entirely sure how you do that though. I don't think I've uh, got that far. Let's have a look now. Nothing on there. I don't think I've uh, experienced the research stage yet. As you can see down this um, bottom left hand corner, there's a few little filters you can go on. Just shows you where there's perhaps any danger zones where people might uh, trip. Or fall off the skis appeal just shows you how appealing it is to people uh, attendance that's probably how many people are using the different slopes so if you've got red one probably just means that no one's using it and uh, slope difficulty as well so it shows you the difficulty of your slopes by going on that one so there's just a few little controls there so that's quite good it gets you to you know you can see exactly what's happening so um a problem queue ski lift waiting for a mechanic which probably means i need to get another building down however there we go mechanics workshop so research will probably have unlocked when you've put a uh, research building down so let's just uh we'll just stick one of those where should we stick one of those we'll stick it in there We'll put that one in, in the middle there. Uh, we need a high altitude food kiosk. So at the top of the hill, we need to be able to give people some refreshments. Like so. So they can have a little burger uh, or a hot dog and then go flying down the ski slope. <laughs> with a nice belly full of food. So again, we'll just fast forward. Like so. See all these people whipping down there. So there are a load of options at the top here, which we'll just explore whilst they get built. Uh, so there's a slope. I never put my mechanic thing down, did I? I'll do that in a minute. So it gives you slope information. So it tells you the attendance of you know how many people are going on there. Uh, your lifts. So this would be where all your you can get all your information about your lifts. Do you know? Do they need a mechanic? Do they need repairing? Um, breakdown in progress yes so it tells you that it's broken down uh, maintenance so just shows you the maintenance of the buildings uh, I don't know really what that does I think it's just so you can assign your village the uh, volunteers to them services again just shows you what types of uh, services you've got such as your food so you can just kind of manage them from there a little bit visitors so it's kind of got different ski clubs so for the snowstruck lovers, their ski club has a blue 
skiing ability, sports club kids are a bit more uh, uh, skilled, I suppose, and uh, also green for the new Fallen Stone. It gives you their satisfaction rating. So again, if, for example, the sports club kids had quite a low one because I wasn't doing enough uh, challenging courses for them, we can probably put a new slope down. So it's generally just about managing the people. Here we go. So this is where you get to research. Um, yeah, it's just generally about managing people and uh, uh, developing the gear that you get, essentially, the buildings. So there's all sorts of things. It just uh, contributes to the happiness of the uh, of the skiers and uh, probably enables you to make bigger slopes through the bigger chairlifts. So don't really know which one to pick. I'll just go for that one. So it's just going to do some research and it says it uh, costs 30 points. I don't know where you get your points from. I'm assuming the research lab will generate points. And then we've got kind of like a resort overview. So as you progress, um, the different skill levels will unlock new uh, ski clubs, which will effectively give you more visitors to the ski resort. Like so. So I'm going to need a mechanic uh, workshop. So we'll stick a mechanic workshop in here. We'll have this as kind of like a little industrial zone, if you like, for the ski resort. And uh, how have we got the... See, so yeah, it's not built yet. So quick fast forward. Okay, so we're back. We've built all the buildings that we need, or those ones that place have all been built anyway. And uh, I've assigned volunteers to them. So then we've got the ski safety area message pop-up. So... There's nothing like skiing down velvety snow, beholding the majesty or majesty of the snow-clad peaks. But it'd be more relaxing if the slopes weren't littered with injured skiers. Can't you hear their cries of pain echoing through the valleys? With patrollers, snow groomers and mechanics, it feels a lot safer. So um, there's a snow groomer who will basically just sort the snow out. So obviously as people are going down there... Um, slopes on the skis they're making a mess in the snow so the snow groomer just flattens the snow and makes it a bit you know better for skiing on um and obviously the mechanics will um, fix the buildings so i think we need to uh, get a ski patrol lodge which is basically the person who will come and rescue people if they've got injured and gone into a tree or something uh so ski patrol lodge we'll pop one of those we'll put it near the slopes just so they can uh, get there a little bit quicker, a bit easier. And the Snow Groomer's Hanger is the next one that we need. So, Snow Groomer's Hanger, we'll pop that in as well. So, because I've put these other buildings down and assigned volunteers to them, uh, I've got 10 out of 11 volunteers who have actually been allocated to a building. So, the way it's going to be looking is I'm not going to have enough volunteers. Now, as you can see at the top here, uh, you do get a volunteer every well, however long until uh, you get a maximum number of 60 volunteers, but it's kind of like a timer. You'll get another one every however however long it takes. Uh, and as you can see, the research bar is going up. Now we've got the research lab, we've got people assigned to it. So we'll be able to start getting some uh, better um, equipment. So just fast forward, wait for that one to uh, get built. So it's good that it, you've got the fast forward because there's a lot of just waiting around for buildings to be built and stuff. Which I kind of don't see the point in having that, having to wait for things to be built, if I'm honest, because there's no like costs, there's no resources to make the buildings. So I don't see the point in having that whole mechanic at the moment of uh, waiting for buildings to be made just seems a bit weird to me so yeah I think there's a, a very big lack of depth within this game it's quite simple but as I say it is early access so there may be a lot of things coming I don't really know uh, what else is going to be coming in the future but um, I'd certainly like to see some sort of economy to go with it uh, in terms of ticket sales or, or what have you but yeah I don't really know why um, you have to wait for these things to be built. It's a bit pointless. Okay. 
So, don't even know what that message was. Something about accidents happening. Uh, so you should check out the latest technologies and start in researching things. I've already done that, mate. I'm going to step ahead. Structure upgrades. Who knows? Soon they'll invent a ski lift like a ski tow, but one that tr transports skiers in a comfortable cabin. We could call it a gondola lift. That has an awesome ring to it. You should appoint me as your official name inventor. What do you think? Yeah, all right, mate. Whatever. <laughs> Skier satisfaction, so um, up to 12 skier profiles can visit your resort, all have different needs, take the time to study them and understand their expectations to increase your attendance to your resort. So the skier profiles, I think that's like those ski clubs that I was looking at, uh, yeah, so that's kind of like the ski clubs, so you can have up to 12 of those. So those will develop over time as your resort grows. At this point, we just, it says select a profile and welcome 150 skiers. So we've currently got 63 skiers. So if we look at new fallen snow, let's have a look at them. Um, again, just gives you their needs. So environment needs and sports needs. So the challenge. So we probably need another easy slope for those. And security environment security hmm don't know what they need for that must be something within the services or if it's just the case of the like the snow patrol uh, that's banned isn't it <laughs> um, the ski patrol lodge not snow patrol that's the, that's the band so it says there's a problem queue maintenance is in progress on the ski lift we have gained the research and we can now get a fit four person fixed grip chairlift so we'll do that but again I don't feel as though I mean there's there is a lot of you know stuff that you can research I suppose to unlock different buildings uh, which will all meet the different needs of the people. So there's you know different food, there's shelter from the environment. Which actually I think I might. Can I cancel that other one? There's chairlift. No, uh, I'll leave it. Um, I'll go for a small shelter next, so that might just help people out a little bit when they're at the top of the slope, rather than just being stood in a big blizzard at the top of a mountain. I don't know. Uh, Anti-jolt springs, it just makes your rides a little bit easier on the chairlift. Uh, so you generally get the gist of this game, it's just pretty much, that's pretty much I've, I've kind of gone through everything in terms of what you can do, you just make slopes, get get uh, visitors and uh, just try and keep them happy really. But yeah, it doesn't seem like it's a particularly in-depth game, if I'm honest. So. It's got some good reviews on various different um, sort of sites and stuff, um, like good star ratings. I think on Steam they've given it they've given it quite a high rating. Um, apparently Steam's like ten out seven out of ten. Uh, there's T for two games. So it looks as though it's like their own website. Four point six out of five. Instantgaming.com five out of five. I'm really surprised at those scores, if I'm honest. I think due to the lack of depth but as I say it is early access I don't know what else there is that's going to come um, but I think certainly having the ability to expand this area would be good and uh, certainly beneficial because as you say I've already got a couple of buildings down already and it's starting to already look a little bit cluttered I mean I can go around the edges fine I could do that but um, yeah and it's good, I suppose, that it has your little challenges down at the bottom. So you've got some objectives to work towards. But um, personally, I find this game a little bit boring. If I'm honest, I'd probably give it a 4 out of 10. Uh, I don't think there's enough depth. I, I do find it boring. And um, certainly not one I'm going to return to, unfortunately. But it'd be interesting to see how it develops. Um, I think it certainly appealed to people who uh, potentially are a little bit more 
of a fan of these types of games. Um, I mean, I'm a fan of simulation games and park management games, as I say, like Planet Coast and Planet Zoo. But the sort of the level of depth within those games is is immense in, compared to this one. So um, I think it would a appeal to people who enjoy skiing as well. I, I think it's I think it's kind of a niche game that people will um, only certain people are in will enjoy. So, so I don't think it's going to be one that's uh, you know changing the world. For sure. <laughs> um, but that's it from this one, guys. A little bit of an insight into Snowtopia. Hope you enjoyed it. And I shall see you on the next one.